Afghan soldiers are learning how to combat the ever-present threat of IEDs at Camp Leatherneck. A group of ANA members finished the basic search segment of the Explosive Hazard Reduction Course at the Joint Security Academy Southwest, or JSAS, October 29th. Marines at JSAS are teaching the Afghans how to find and disable these weapons hidden on insurgents, on the ground, and in buildings. The students said the third day was the most challenging, as they had to use all their knowledge to safely clear a compound without setting off mock IEDs. Instructor Marine Corporal Wayne Phillips said the Afghans picked up the needed knowledge quickly and are able to successfully put these techniques into practice. The students will move on to more advanced material. For the first time, a village in northern Afghanistan had the chance to vaccinate their livestock. Army Staff Sergeant Frank Brown explains how these villagers responded. Many of the villagers of Kaldar District, a rural area in northern Afghanistan, never heard of vaccinations, let alone foot and mouth disease. All they knew was that their cows were dying, which puts a dent in both their wallets and the dinner table. Word spread about a program that offered free vaccinations and deworming for village cattle. Gotten off to a slow start. Day one, the team of Afghan paravets supported by a host of groups, including the 10th Mountain Division and Afghan National Border Police, vaccinated a grand total of 14 cows. But it's picking up here on the second day. Day two, over 50 cows were vaccinated. Probably the initial visitors that came and, and had their cattle vaccinated, they, uh, they were unaware of the benefits, and yes, they've gone back to the, to the villages and, and talked about it. He hopes the villagers will now see the long-term benefits of vaccinations, a better survival rate for their cattle. From Kaldar District, I'm Army Sergeant Frank Brown.